What's going on everyone? This is an edition of Real Talk. It's a segment where I'm just gonna talk about life in general. It's just gonna be me pretty much talking about whatever it is that I'm going through or whatever real things, hence Real Talk, whatever real things need to be addressed. Hopefully the intended message I make through these videos will somehow be received by you guys. As long as that happens then I guess then it's good. So what I wanted to talk about for this edition of Real Talk was the reason why it's taken me so long to start this YouTube channel. As I've shared before, it's taken about three to four years since I ever had the idea of starting this YouTube channel. It honestly came from an idea from some friends. Some friends along the way have suggested, hey, you should definitely start a YouTube channel. I say this because they knew that I had a passion for acting. Ever since high school, I've had this passion to act. I don't know where it came from. I think it was because I took this drama class in high school and that was really fun. And I also took part in this musical and it was Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I also had an awesome time making student films whenever our high school projects demanded it. Even in college, we had to make student films. Whether it was acting for a Pulp Fiction scene or whether it was acting for a Star Wars remake. When it comes to acting, what I really enjoy the most is the opportunity to just live different people's lives through the characters of different stories or different scripts where you're just acting as if you're that character, of acting as if you're, you're living that character, you're breathing that character. I just really like doing that. I like expressing myself, even though a lot of people may be surprised by that. I'm very, just an introverted person. I keep to myself a lot. So that passion for acting led me to going on exchange to UCLA. Being near Hollywood, I wanted to see if this was for me. Like I wanted to learn more about acting, I wanted to take classes, I wanted to learn more about the craft of acting, I wanted to really see what Hollywood is all about, I wanted to just explore and I wanted to see if doors were going to be open regarding that field. But needless to say, I was in for a pretty rude awakening. To keep a long story short, and I might talk about this in some other video about my experience in UCLA, there I saw the reality of how difficult it is to really succeed as an actor and that there are so many other people who are pursuing the same thing you are. And people who are more talented, people who have more connections, people who are seemingly more put together than you are. And that is where the fear of just comparing myself to other people, the fear of failure, that, that was magnified. It was that experience that made me question like, is this really for me? Is this just some childish dream? Is this some pipe dream? Like I had the worst audition I ever had in my life while I was there. I had these opportunities that were in my hand. Like the role was given to me, but it was just somehow taken away from me at the last second because things didn't work out. Yeah, it's just it was just a really hard time for me there. Um, so going back to the fear of comparison and the fear of failure, uh, I carried that with me when I came back to Korea. Like I, I was just like, man, is this acting thing for me? Am I really gonna make it as an actor in movies or films? There's so many things I would need. I would need like an agent. I would need a headshot. I would need connections within the film industry, which I didn't have at all. It's just I didn't have the I guess the acting degree, I didn't go to any schools, I just took a bunch of classes here and there at UCLA regarding acting or just film. With all that being said, some friends just suggested to me that I make a YouTube channel. To me that seemed like a reasonable step, it seemed like a, a feasible, realistic goal to not be successful in film or TV in Hollywood because that would be so difficult. Even in Korea here in the film industry, YouTube seemed like a much more reasonable expectation. It would also give me an opportunity to make stuff that I want to make, to make my own content, to have control of what I want to put out. The problem was, was when I started getting a full-time job after college. It took me a long time to just get adjusted to a full-time schedule, working, you know, nine hours a day, to me, I just kept on making excuses for myself and being lazy and never really got to starting my YouTube channel for a long time. 
every time a friend would ask me, like, why aren't you starting your YouTube channel? Come on, you gotta start it. You gotta start it, man. What's wrong with you? I kept on giving excuses like, oh, I don't have enough equipment, I don't have the right camera, I don't have the right people, I don't have the right script. Like for a long time, I was just writing scripts. I was writing all these different ideas. In other words, it just excuses just piled one after another. Other than the excuses, like the not having enough time excuse, there was also the fear of failure. All this time I've been thinking and praying for this dream that I have, uh, this passion that I have. It's all just gonna come to waste. What if only like 10 people watch my videos every time I post it up? What if only, you know, I have 10 subscribers or 20 or 50 subscribers at the end of the day? Uh, after I put all these hours in and it just amounts to nothing, what's the point? Then the other excuse was me comparing myself to other YouTubers, especially people who are those my age or even younger. So-and-so has all of these millions of subscribers and they're already there. So why, how can I get to even half of where they are? How can I even get to 20% of where they are? It was that futility, that fear of just like, what's the point? That attitude that just really stopped me from putting my foot down and starting this dang thing. And the other thing was just the fear of how others will perceive me. It was just the fear that, you know, how, what if some other people criticize me for what I look like or criticize me for doing a bad job or... That's probably chief among my fears right now is, I mean, there will always be internet trolls online. There will be people who will post hateful comments no matter what you do, no matter what you post. You could post about cats or, you know, people saving dogs or people doing nice things for homeless people and there will always be a dislike or here and there, or a, a hateful comment here and there, just for no reason. My whole life I've just struggled with people telling me I suck at something. Uh, just a feeling of inadequacy. But for me, that really hits home. Like when someone tells me I suck, t someone tells me I am not good at it, I, I don't know what to say to that, those sorts of things. Because a part of me will agree with that, saying, man, they're right. And so if someone out there were to say, oh, your YouTube videos suck, or someone else says like this really hurtful comment that really just, that strikes that chord within me. That's like, oh man, that's so true. And that's really hard to swallow. That's what I feared, probably the most. Like I have, for example, I have really bad acne. And <laughs> to be real, real talk, that's kind of why I'm growing this beard, is to cover my acne. Uh, I, and there will be someone out there that's going to call me a pizza face or pepperoni face or something like that. And I fear how I'm going to react to those things. How I fear how, yeah, I, I don't know what I am going to do when I see those kinds of things. And even, and even before I started this, I feared that. I feared what I would do. I feared maybe I would just walk away from it because from experiencing so much hurt um, from all the trolls. You know, that's, you see so many celebrities these days just walking away from social media or the internet in general because they, they just, they experience, they're bombarded with all these hateful comments by people. And I can totally see why they would do that. And again, I feared that I would do the same thing. So again, what would be the point of starting this? If all I'm going to do is just get pooped on for how I look or what kind of content I put out there. I think what finally got me started on this, not only did I feel God was just pushing me to finally start, uh, I think it was just embracing those fears. Embracing the what-ifs. Embracing the worst-case scenarios. Instead of asking what if, just asking, so what if that happens? So what if those hateful comments come? So what if the videos get 10 views or 50 views? Should that stop me from what I want to do? I think every YouTuber somewhat didn't start with a million views. They didn't start with a million subscribers. No, they they had to fight for that. They had to hunger for that. They had to produce videos and work hard to get to where they're at. Essentially, just shut up and just 
embrace your fears and just go for it. A very wise saying I've heard was, it's better to say, oh well, than what if. If I never started this channel, I, I would have constantly in my life said, what if? What if, I, what if I just started that YouTube channel? Where would I be? I'm excited. I'm excited to, again, finally be starting this journey. And it was really a special moment for me when I first posted those videos. When I hit post, when I hit publish, I got kind of choked up because it was finally here. The day was fine. The, the day has finally come for me to start this journey that I've waited for so long. That I finally got to set aside all my fears and excuses and just say, oh, who cares? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it was just a liberating feeling. It would be awesome if this was something that I could do for the rest of my life, just making content. Um, but for now, it's just steps. It's just little baby steps. And starting this channel was the biggest step I could take. For me, I have the hardest time just starting things. I have no problem finishing things out or just maintaining things. It's just starting it is I cannot for the life of me start projects. But once I do, it's, I have confidence that I can maintain it and stick with it. And now that I've started, this is just the beginning. Cause I know that it can only go up from here. Thank you guys for just taking the time to listen. And I hope that you enjoy these kinds of videos. I hope that you will be excited along with me for future content that's to come from this channel. And yeah, that's all for today. And Thank you guys. Have a great rest of the day.